If you want to find Isaiah Adams, the gym is a great place to start. I do come in here like at late nights. Like if I'm like not sleepy, then I just go like, no, let me just go to the gym and I get in some shots. He's training at UCF in hopes that next season, he's shooting in the NBA. Three ball, Adams, they need it, they got it. Adams is coming off a freshman season where he averaged 9.9 .9 points per game. My freshman season at UCF, it's been, it was a, it was like a roller coaster. The high was a 26 point performance and a win at Tulane. The low was about with pneumonia. I lost like 10 to 15 pounds. It was, it was crazy. Adams was able to finish the year strong. In April, he declared for the NBA draft while maintaining his eligibility at UCF. To be able to get that feedback from people who are already there at that level is going to be very helpful for me and decide on what it is that I truly want to do. Growing up in Jacksonville, Adams and his family didn't have much. In 2008, they lived in a homeless shelter for a period of 18 months. He understands that I don't look for anything back from them. They cannot pay me back for anything. His mother, Tiffany, Tighten up, Adam! is his motivation. Come on, come on, way to be there, way to be there, way to be there. Come on. It's, it's very exciting to be able to just know that um, just in the next like, couple of years, I could be in a position to like help my family and have my mom not be able to work anymore. So just be able to just take care of just my family and, and all. And that's, that's what I want to do. As much as I like want to make decisions for him or kind of guide him, I'm trying to trust that he, he's aware of himself and he's aware of his path. He knows what he's come from and where he wants to go. Whether it's now or later, the NBA will be his final destination. And I'm just like very grateful for, for everything. And my mom reminds me of that, just to stay humble and grateful for like all the stuff that's happened to me and what else that can happen in the future.